Click, click, pow. Right in the face. I said, click, click, pow. Right in the face. That's right. Bang. A coronal mass ejection that is definitely earth facing will be heading our way. That is right. We have count them one, two, three sunspots on the sun right now and an earth directed solar flare. Earth facing sunspot AR2816 exploded this morning, producing a C8, C38. C-3PO, class solar flare, a pulse of x-rays, and UV radiation ionized the top of Earth's atmosphere, producing a shortwave radio blackout over Southeast Asia. Of great interest, however, is this shadowy wave rippling away from the blast site. And so this is exciting, because during solar minimums, which happened in 2019, things get super crappy. But as the sun wakes up and heads towards solar maximum, things start to improve. So who doesn't want to see better days ahead, yo? And look at this. This is one, two, three, four, five, six C-class solar flares today. So I don't know, man. Sorry for all the guys who bet on the grand solar minimum, but you're totally, totally, absolutely wrong. Okay, great. Erica. Palmerio update on the coronal mass ejection that erupted from AR-128186 12 hours ago. We have a halo in Soho, Lasco imagery. The situation is looking good for a direct impact at Earth right in the face on the 25th, 26th of April, according to Tamitha Scove and Halo CME. Please, son, don't let us down. It won't. The sun is consistently super duper and awesome. Plus, the sun is an optimist. Yeah, and so that is definitely a click, click, pow, right in the face. Hey, guys, I got to tell you, okay, so the 23rd, you got like Venus, Uranus, Mercury kind of aligning, and you've got Ceres and Eris aligning. So the 23rd, 24th energy is going to be very interesting, possibly filled with surprises, and then everybody's throwing up like red flags about the Scorpio full moon that will happen on the 26th and 27th. And so will we see a stock market slash cryptocurrency crash on the 26th? Possibly. Definitely possibly. And um, also when Jupiter moves out of Aquarius into Pisces and Saturn is left alone in Aquarius, you could that would be in the middle of May, you could definitely see a major correction in cryptocurrencies. So I'm just letting you know now because that is what I do. Although I could be wrong. Um, what happens next in the world is anyone's guess. But we do know that you should buckle up because it is about to get super duper stormy. We're talking Friday, Saturday, probably Sunday, and then like Tuesday. We're about to go through an extremely stormy period. But this won't be our first rodeo, so please, Asteroid Fight Club, prepare for it mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. And also try not to be in the way of the super wild weather if it heads towards you. Venus is about to show up in our night sky again, which has me very excited. And she'll be hanging out with Mercury. So that could bring good times, whether it comes on the 23rd or 24th. But things will get kind of strange because of the full moon. Problem. Yeah, here's your chart for tomorrow. Severe weather. They're probably going to put some orange and possibly even some red in here before we get there. And then Saturday, and then this would be Sunday. And so it is definitely going to get stormy for the southeast. And not only stormy, it could get floody. Very floody. But hey, either way, I plan to be in a good mood through the weekend because it will be my seven-year anniversary as your planetary defense commander since April 23rd, 2014. So I think I've done a good job. And I love you. And I appreciate you. Asteroid Fight Club, you are amazing. Anywho, it's a dangerous world. It's roller coaster, twists and turns, ups and downs, and this is the S and P 500 intraday after capital gains tax announcements were made. Hurricane season is fast approaching, but my brain is thinking about um, strawberry daiquiris and a steak because it's the 23rd tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Happy Earth Day to Mother Earth. You are by far my favorite planet in the solar system. And Mother Earth, you have been 
absolutely great to me. You have spoiled me my whole life. I'll do what I can to help take care of you because you are amazing. But yeah, Texas, we're under the gun Friday, and then Saturday, all that shit shifts to the east. So it's going to be a dangerous and stormy day. Well, most of us will probably make it through because that's what we do. Kalima Volcano is super steamy. Your Friday, Saturday danger. This volcano in Guatemala has been erupting for more than two months. Experts say the lava flow is moving almost 100 feet per day. The volcano in the Caribbean has super erupted again today. We'll probably continue with all the gas giants on the same side of the sun. It's going to be kind of super dicey, earthquakey, and volcano-y over the next two or three years. All right. And I'm in a really good mood because there's a chance some of my crushes could surprise me with drinks and smiles tonight or tomorrow night or this weekend due to my anniversary as planetary defense commander doing such a great job. But definitely because Russian orders troops to withdraw from its border with Ukraine after a massive military buildup that raised alarm from Western Europe to the U.S., which is de-escalating some of the tension that we've been feeling lately. So I'm taking that as a major win. Yay. Avoid World War III. It's one of our goals. And keep civilization standing while continue to have progress moving forward. And then as Sunspot 28. 17 rotates off the disc. We should be getting a new one. So, better days ahead? Question mark, asterisk. We definitely live in exciting times. And I love and appreciate you, Asteroid Fight Club. You guys are amazing. Great, super, duper, awesome, and amazing. So, I appreciate you guys. I'll keep you posted. And I might even continue to go live. I went live last night to discuss all the things that are happening. Because there's been a lot happening all over the world. Okay, great. You guys stay cool, and I'll talk to you guys in the very near future. I love and appreciate you. May God bless us all. The force be with you always, and let us live long and prosper together. Peace. That is what I would like.